Are you looking to boost your internet capabilities throughout your house? The Zizel Pass-Through Ethernet Adapter is a great addition for any home console or PC looking to get any extra internet speeds. Affiliate link below. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo, this is 3 Buck Theater, and yesterday I talked about how Sony Pictures Home Entertainment was coming under some serious fire because it had decided to push its clean video initiative. Uh, basically taking R-rated films or PG-13 films, scrubbing them of uh, a vile, disgusting, dirty, sexual content, and then trying to resell them on the home video marketplace as well as iTunes, uh, as well as uh, airplanes and shit like that. And it's not out of the question for, for having me done in the past. I mean, when movies are licensed to TV affiliates, oftentimes they are completely scrubbed of a lot of that content. You'll see that before a movie starts. The content is edited, you know, is edited for, this has been edited for content. Some things are gone, blah, 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 blah. And it's always an entry-level position, sometimes going as far as to eliminating entire subplots from the film and doing it in such a horrible way that makes it entirely pointless to watch, which is one of the reasons why watching these kind of movies on TV sucks in the first place, and why Netflix is so badass, because that shit's unfucking rated But anyway, you had a lot of people really upset. And in fact, Judge Apatow, or Judd Apatow, said this uh, in regards to the Clean Film Initiative. Uh, this, uh, this is absolute bullshit. Sony and Sony Pictures is going to get hell for fucking with our movies. Shove the clean version up your asses. Now, granted, his language is colorful, but it's there to emphasize a point. These, these filmmakers who have made money for Sony, who have, who have poured their, their heart and tears and soul into making this content, don't want it fucked with, don't want it taken out of context, don't want it scrubbed clean in order to sell to, a, to another market. And like I said in my video yesterday, Sony, you can tell they're doing this because they know it's a bit of a cash grab. Right, they were selling it as a third option. They're like, you can buy the home video, the Blu-ray, the DVD, the HD DVD, the UHD DVD, the digital copy, and the clean version, all included together. It's just another way for them to try to sell this as a way to get the home video market to perk up. Uh, again, we're in this weird transition period right now, where you know the movies uh, and digital and everything is just not as profitable as it once was. DVDs used to be insanely profitable. Now they still are, but not as much as they were. So Sony is very much trying to tap into another marketplace, but they've revised their stance on this a bit. Uh, and they were saying here that, uh, so Sony Pictures Home Entertainment president Manjeet Singh did say this, our directors are of paramount importance to us and we want to respect those relationships to the utmost. We believed we had obtained approvals from the filmmakers involved for use of their previously supervised television versions as a value added extra on sales for the full version, but if any of them are unhappy or have reconsidered, we will discontinue it for their films. So basically saying, if you are a filmmaker with Sony who didn't sign off on this shit, uh, then definitely contact them and then they're going to pull it. But I'm sure they're probably going to argue some other way to get around to selling it. They're still going to try. This is If this is a moneymaker for Sony, they're not going to want to stop trying to sell it. They need the money right now. Sony Pictures is bad off. It is bad off. And just for a recap, there's a reason why, and that is Ghostbusters. Uh, no, not just Ghostbusters. It's, it's fun to make Ghostbusters the constant go-to for, uh, for giving a beating to Sony. It's not just that. It's a lot of poor decisions at Sony. Stuff that we're still seeing again this year. And probably the best decision Sony made over the course of the past three years uh, has easily been uh, the deal brokering Spider-Man with Marvel. Because that's going to make them a great deal of money. Uh, but in the meantime... I understand Sony Pictures, home entertainment desire to make more money. I get it. They want to make more money. They want to sell these cleaner versions of films uh, to, you know, to these kids and everything else. Uh, and I, I get that. I get that. But how about instead of fucking over your filmmakers, why don't you focus on actually trying to create good child or kid friendly content that you can then sell to them at a premium Instead of screwing over your filmmakers, taking away a lot of shit that sells these movies in order to peddle it to a younger audience uh, who won't know the difference anyway. I mean, granted, it's easier in the short run for them to just, you know, resell uh, watered down versions of their shit. But at the same time, it does call into question uh, a lot. 
<laughs> it does. It calls into question uh, a, a lot of intentions here, and it calls in, in, into question uh, motives. And it's like it just feels it to me personally. It feels slimy to go after films like this. Yeah, it's their you know you pay for them, you own them, you can do with them what you want for the most part. But uh, focus on making new shit. And don't focus on trying to resell or repackage old shit in a way that nobody's asking for. So just food for thought on that one. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. My name is, of course, Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a fantastic day and peace out.